Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Kenny here and welcome to a helpful video that will hopefully get you guys on PC up and running smoothly and hopefully get rid of some of your problems that you're having. Alright, so I'm going to go down this list of problems that I have I think will help you guys out and which I've seen to be helping me out so far. So, um, first thing is whenever you get in a game, the first thing you want to do is open your um, options and until a patch comes out whatever this is something that'll help you and hopefully when a patch comes out you can put this stuff back up higher but first thing I did is turn my resolution down a little bit because um running at 19 I, I mean I have a pretty good setup I have a good graphics card I have a good uh, processor everything I'm streaming and it's okay but at some points it's a FPS drop like for crazy so first thing I did I don't know why this is on 1600 by 900 but first thing I did was turn it down to 1280 by 720 I mean the game already looks pretty bad itself that that's it's already got that going for it so this it doesn't really do much. It'll help you uh, turn your actual graphics up, but just turn your resolution down. So it, it's it's kind of like a fair trade. All right, so turn your resolution down to 1280 by 720. Full screen seems to be the best for me. Anytime I run window mode, it seems to be a little bit jittery and laggy. Um, colorblind, it's really up to you guys. Advanced video, you want to turn your... If you turn down your graphics, you definitely want to turn your aspect ratio. Um, I use 69. That's the standard one for if you have a widescreen monitor. Um, image quality, I put that on extra. It seems how I turned down my... um. I turned on my resolution so I can actually run this on extra and be fine. Um, this, I don't know why this is on. Terrain detail, turn off. Anastropic filtering, um, you can turn that to low. It this it just kind of takes the edge. It takes your edge and doesn't make it as, as jaggedy. But if you're not really concerned about graphics, because, I mean, honestly, this game doesn't look that great. I can't believe how bad it looks for a brand new game. But you can turn that to low. Motion blur off, distortion off. That just makes things like kind of blurry like when a barrel explodes or something that's the best example I can think of anti-aliasing off shadows you can turn that off that actually does help a big time uh, motion blur that's just annoying so I leave that off let's see depth of field off that's when you aim in it makes everything blurry around you, you want to turn that off ambient occlusion just makes things like I said like more smoother and kind of blurry in the distance so it doesn't look so bad you can turn that off sync every frame somebody said this helped them but it didn't really help me it maxes it out I think the game max FPS is 90 from what I saw but if you turn this on it'll max it out at 60 so if you're having FPS problems you can try using that but if um, the bad thing about that is if you drop below it kind of makes your game really laggy so it's really a hit and miss um, texture quality you want to turn this to manual and this stuff um, I turned off the res uh, specular because that just makes things shine it doesn't really bother me too much I just turned that off uh, water resolution the water actually looks really bad already so I turn that off too. Um, this I leave on extras because it works fine with the resolution I'm at. And um, apply these settings. Sorry, my screen probably just froze or jittered or something. I don't know. But okay, besides that, guys, um, a couple things you can do is if you can't get the game to play because of the six gigabyte RAM thing, there's a fix you can go to. I will post a link in the description that has all this stuff um, you can go to and you can download it. It's really use at your own risk. It's up to you if you want to do it. I mean, I guess it's not legit, or not not saying not legit, but it's not put out by Activision, so it's a third-party thing. Um, also, if you guys are having FOV problems, there's a download for this FOV. It's called Fovly. Somebody said they took it down, but this website has a download. You might be able to... Um, it's also another third-party thing, So, but somebody already tweeted out from Infinity Ward that you can't be banned for this. So if you are, then you might want to contact them and tell them that something happened. It's just an FOV thing that you're using. All right, so besides that, let's see. We got a couple more things here. We got ghost flickering. If you guys are on a slide configuration, which means you have two graphics cards, you might want to try um, turning off one of those and just using a single card and see if that fixes your problem. If you guys are having random freezes, um, <clears throat> make sure your your graphic drivers are up to date. Even if I know they haven't put out one for, specifically for this game, but just make sure they're up to date. Like I, I know they came out with one recently for Battlefield, so that might help you guys. Uh, mouse sensitivity. I had a big problem with this when I I. Uh, join this the snowy map. I had a big problem with this and what I did was um My mouse actually has a thing you can download from the steel series website I'm not sure if you guys can do it But if you go to control settings and you go to mouse make sure you turn off acceleration I made sure mine was turned off. Um, I haven't actually tested that but it seemed to be working yesterday Just from um, turning off my overlays. That's another thing you can do is make sure you turn off your steam overlay in game um, Fraps you don't have it open DX story you don't have it open XSplit I have open for broadcasting and it seems to be fine or streaming whatever um, if you guys are having a failed to start game, make sure that you are running the game on 64 bits. And it says have 8 gigabits of RAM installed, but I mean, if you guys can't do that, you might want to try the, the RAM fix. And the last thing I did, I haven't tried it out yet, but a lot of people are saying this has helped them. You can go to your, it, once you have the game open, you minimize and go to your task manager. And you click, um, you right click and hit task manager, you hit processes, and you go down to Call of Duty. It says like Infinity Ward 6, um, 
dash ship or something like that right click it and set the priority to normal because right now they have it on high I don't know if, why it does that that's kind of weird but if you do that and try it on normal hopefully that'll fix your game but other than that guys there's a couple more things on this list that you can go check out the link's going to be in the description I hope this helps you guys um, get your game running smoothly so you can have a better experience playing online I heard, I heard the single player is optimized great, so it's just really stupid. It's like, why would you put more time in the single player? Everybody's going to be playing multiplayer. But anyway, guys, I hope this helps you guys with all your problems, and I hope it fixes it so you guys can have a great experience. I love this game. It's it's frustrating at times, but then again, it's it's new. It's got a lot of new stuff. It's brand new. It just came out. you got to wait for patches before you can really judge it. So I will see you guys in the future videos. I hope this helps you out, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.